Windows apps. There are probably millions of them out there, but without sifting through loads of Reddit forums and asking ChatGPT for hours and tons of Google searching, you're likely to find not many beyond the usual, which is what I did. So with that, here are 10 of the best Windows apps you'll want to consider downloading and guarantee a few in this list that you didn't know. So with that, let's begin. Number one, drop shelf. Now Windows is not the best when it comes to dragging and dropping stuff with slight delays between the on-screen elements and occasionally the classic ban icon when something is not supported as a direct action. In this case, the drop shelf app will give you a shelf for you to temporarily drop stuff in and then take out as needed into another application. This also works for your clipboard as well, which you can paste into the shelf. On top of this, it's got absolutely loads of options in the settings, such as opening with a keyboard shortcut when you shake your mouse, for example, and having the option to customize what the tray icon does, etc, etc. And the final cherry on top is that it's super modern in appearance as well. It's one of those that you get used to using and miss when it's not there anymore. Number two, key pass. If you prefer to keep your passwords locally, no, not that type of locally, then you need the KeePass app. This app will store all your passwords locally in a single database file that lives on your hard drive that you can encrypt with a password. And because everything is stored locally, you can also make backups of this database onto other external drives, for example. Number three, mouse pointer. Now, if you're a teacher or someone who does a lot of screen recordings involving the use of your cursor, then check out this app, which will allow you to have a yellow circle around your mouse pointer to highlight it. A simple one, but for the right person, this is likely to be be very useful. There are also a few basic settings that you can play around with in here as well. Number four, battery percentage. Why Windows hasn't added this yet is beyond me. This app allows you to see the battery percentage of your laptop or handheld or anything else that happens to be battery powered on Windows at a glance by checking the system tray area. A nice touch is that the icon turns green when charging and red when low, alongside the option to provide alerts at different percentages. Number five, Alt Snap. Honestly, I really don't know why Microsoft hasn't added this into the system by default at the this point. This app allows you to move a window without having to grab the small snippet at the top of your window. Simply press the Alt key and then drag with your right mouse button to move windows around. Oh, and Microsoft, if you're listening by any chance, while you're at it, you could just add a trackpad gesture, you know, like a three finger drag, like some other operating system that happens to exist. <clears throat> Number six, caffeine. Yep, I'm sure I'm in need of a cup of that after this, but as the name suggests, by downloading this app, you can cause your PC not to go to sleep from a handy little menu in the system tray. Self-explanatory, I think it would be most useful for those who study with a reference document on the screen but not touching the mouse, trackpad or keyboard. Honestly, it's so annoying when the screen goes black and you have to move your hand a few centimeters forward to touch the trackpad and if you set your PC to never go to sleep, well, you'll inevitably forget to undo the action and eventually cause you some serious problems down the line regarding your battery life. So yeah, moving on. Number seven, copy queue. There's so many different apps out there that allow you to manage your clipboard, but I don't think you need many of these because if you press the windows and then the V key, you can see your clipboard history from right within windows. But if you do want one, then consider checking out copy queue, which is a bit old school looking, but provides similar functionality and actually organizes what you've got copied into categories such as images, text, etc, etc. Number eight, sound switch. Let's talk about sound. Now, if you need to switch your audio sources on the fly without going into this menu, you here, then clicking this toggle and then finally selecting the source, or worse still, physically connecting and reconnecting devices, then you need to get this app, which will allow you to skip all this nonsense with a single keyboard shortcut. By default, it's set to Control, Alt and then F11, but you can change this along with some other tweaks that you'll find within the settings of this application. Number nine, Break Timer. This app will let you set up customizable breaks and reminders to take a rest and get up from your desk every so often. You know, protect your spine and all that, especially if you're like me when you Care about ergonomics, you're okay for the first 10 minutes in your chair, but then you fall into a massive slouch. So hopefully this can help with that. Number 10, Expanso. If you need a text expander, which I guess everyone could potentially use to a degree on commonly spelt words and phrases and even paragraphs, then this is the app to use. I mean, if you can get used to typing with them, you'll go from an average typing speed to the top 1%. Expanso also seems to be heavily orientated around privacy and is quite modern in its design compared to others out there. Now, if you're still interested in learning about some more Windows apps, then be sure to check out this video right here. But otherwise, like, share and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.